Hey guys, Socket here. Today we're going to have a look at the AudioTech Fisher DSP PC tool software, uh, which is the program that you use to interface with your AudioTech Fisher DSP. Uh, it covers all of their brands, you know, Match, Brax, and Helix DSPs. Use all the same software regardless of the brand name of the DSP that you're using. Um, so if you haven't already um, downloaded a copy of the software, you need to go to the Audio Tech Fisher uh, website and then under Tools select DSP, DSP PC tool and we want the toolkit number five. The number four is the old version and then you get a bunch of marketing stuff. We scroll past all of that and we go down here to where it says tool five, get it here, click on that bit more marketing stuff and we want to scroll down until we uh, see this window here which is uh, where you can download the software okay so if you haven't already got the software uploaded um, just uh, pause the video and um, come back when you've got that ready to go okay once you have your uh, software downloaded we'll open up by clicking on the icon and you'll be presented with this opening screen now we're running version 5.07.01 which is the most current version of the software as of February 25 but um, uh, the software updates are usually incremental so most of the information in this uh, video will be valid even if you're running a version of the software that's uh, newer than this. Um, so we're going to be working in what we call a demo version of the software. So if if you're actually connected to your DSP, this will look slightly different uh, because the software will know what DSP you're using and you won't have to select it. But as I said, most of the uh, content of this video will be relevant. But just bear in mind, we're using a demo version of the software. Um, and if you're working offline, you'll be working with the demo version as well. So let's have a look at uh, this opening screen. So first of all, um, we've got some icons across the top of the screen. We have a refresh button, uh, does what it says on the label. Um, we have a settings button where you can change the language. Um, you can reset your DSP. You can save the configuration files. And if you're having trouble with updates, you can manually load some ACO um, updates or USB drivers you know, from this setting screen. Uh, very rarely use that, but it's there if you need it. Um, next, we have what we call, how do you want to connect your this software to your DSP? So you'll be using a laptop. Do you want to connect via Bluetooth or do you want to connect via a physical USB cable that plugs into your laptop and then physically plugs into the DSP? This is where you select your connection mode uh, between your PC and your DSP. Um, next is a little shortcut guide. Uh, we'll talk about shortcuts in a future video, uh, but that's there. Also, if you're using the auto-tune feature in your DSP, um, there's a little link to those auto-tune files where you can find your pink noise and other things that you're using for auto-tuning. Um, and we'll talk about the auto-tune feature in, a, in another video. Uh, this icon will take you to the Audio Tech Fisher website. Um, the, you know, this is where you can find a copy of the PC tool or the most recent versions or change logs but it's also useful there's a knowledge base um, that they've provided on the TSP PC tool um, and so outside the video if you just want to look up something for example on signal routing um, you know it has a lot of information about the tool you know uh, that you can go and look up so it's a good handy resource uh, then uh, we have a change log if you're into that type of stuff, if you want to see what's different between the different versions. So that's the top set of icons. Very rarely use them, but I thought we'd walk through them while they're here. So most of the time when you start up the, uh, 
the software uh, as I said if you're already plugged into your DSP and it's all set up you know this will look different because the software will know what DSP you're using and you won't have to do all this other stuff but in demo mode um, you will first need to tell the program what DSP you want to uh, s um, simulate so for example in my case I have the Helix DSP Ultra so I will click on that but if you're using a different uh, DSP select the one that applies to you and you'll see that the uh, icon um, will light up and have a, a, a white um, shadow around the uh, unit to indicate that that's the one you've selected so in my case the Helix DSP Ultra and here you can select um, whether you have a, uh, an extension card or an optical in so in my case I've got the hex extension card with Bluetooth so I'll select that as well so now I'm going to run a simulation for my specific setup in my particular car so um, now we just hit start demo and it will ask well what tune do you want to load um, now in the case of a demo we only have one tune but if your car was connected to your DSP and you had half a dozen tunes this is where you could select oh well I want to play around with tune 5 right and so you'd select tune 5 but in our case we've only got one that we can tune select from which is the demo mode so we're going to load that and then it'll bring us into the PC tool menu when you load your PC tool software for the first time you're presented with this text box basically asking you to make a decision about the way you want to configure the software going forward um, there are two options standard processing and virtual channel processing um, which option you choose depends on the capability of your DSP some of the older uh, DSPs won't have virtual channel processing and so you would say no in this case and proceed to set up your software with standard processing um, if your DSP is a newer version uh, it probably has virtual channel processing capability so in that case you would select yes um, so what is virtual channel processing uh, well basically it adds a bunch of additional features including sound effects and advanced um, tuning features such as the ability to group inputs um, now once you select standard or virtual you are setting up the software or configuring the software uh, with certain features um, which are then locked going forward so you really can't flip between the two once you've got this set up if you do want to uh, change from one to the other you will basically need to start from the very beginning um, so in this case we're going to choose virtual channel processing uh, it'll configure the software for that mode and then all of the videos and things going forward will be with virtual channel processing enabled so we click on this box on the right confirm that we want it configured the VCP and then uh, click on the outputs tab to bring us back to the main screen okay I'm going to uh, stop the video now uh, that's a brief introduction to the DSP tool how to load it how to configure it in the next series of videos we're going to look at how you now use the tool um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video